1817, he moved. And he moved to a place called Paris. <laughs> and the city of Paris. And he loved Paris. He loved that city. And, you know, he was getting well known in America. And so coming over the wire, people were getting notices about Cole Porter's service in the French Foreign Legion and all of his heroic escapades in the French Foreign Legion. And that stayed with his biography his whole life. Not a word of it was true. <laughs> he loved Paris. He was partying and he was doing everything that he could do to have a good social time. named Linda Lee Thomas, who had just escaped from an abusive marriage. And what's interesting about their relationship is she knew about Cole Porter's sexual orientation, that he was a gay man. She knew about this before she married him. But she loved his warmth, she loved his humor, she loved his music, she loved everything about him. 
And despite his escapades or whatever he was doing, she didn't mind that. And they had a long-standing, loving relationship until Linda Porter's death. Mm. Now, I mentioned before that Cole Porter was known as the great sophisticate, and his songs about love were absolutely extraordinary. Oh. social life was a whirl. He was having a wonderful time. 
But you know, his career was kind of flat. And you know when it changed? When Irving Berlin introduced Cole Porter to the producer of a show called Paris. And he was hired to write the music and the lyrics for this show. Now, Cole Porter is known for his outright bawdy lyrics. And at that time, there was little talk of sex, right? The, it was very prim and proper on the Broadway stage. But there was a saucy French performer in this show, Paris. Her name was Irene Bordoni. And she stopped the show cold with her rendition of Porter's Let's Do It. Because like I said, you know, there was no talk of sex on the Broadway stage. But having the birds do it, the bees do it, and the fleas do it changed all of that. is known for his verses, one after another after another. And in this song, he has the whole animal kingdom doing it. <laughs> and after she got through five or six verses, she just yelled, stop, enough. The monkeys, the elephants, the bees, everybody would, okay. <laughs> two years later, two years later, Cole Porter again created quite a star on Broadway when the show The New Yorker premiered, because that show had a song in it about the oldest profession in the world. What was that? Oh, yes, exactly. I'm glad you know. Okay, yes. And, and like I said, at the time, they didn't talk about that on the Broadway stage. But the song was just too good to throw out. So what did they do? The show was called The New Yorker. So first of all, they 